Hey guys, we are down here at the beautiful Big Piney River in uh, in the Ozarks, and we're gonna do some smallmouth fishing today. Look at that clear and blue. Oh, it's hot, too hot to be in a pond. We need some spring-fed water like this. So come along. We're gonna try to catch some smallies. Uh, gonna get the kayak in the in the boat now, or in the water, and we'll uh, see what we can catch. Fish. Right in that eddy, right where I figured they'd be. Not a bad one. Ooh, a real nice rock bass or goggle eye. Look at him. Look at that. That's a nice little rock bass. Throw him back. I want to fish that a bit more, truthfully. Damn, that's current is strong. Been a while since I fished in current. Another fish. This one's a little small. Here we go. We're off to a great start. Small mouth and a goggle eye. A little bitty guy, but look how pretty they are in this clear water. Let them go. See if there's anything bigger down there, huh? Here's a little bitty small way down there. This is another one. It's a smallmouth smash vest so far. None net worthy. It's another little bitty one. But man, they are pretty and they are fun to catch in this clear water. That's a little bitty one now, it's even smaller. We're using that Bitsy Bug jig with a, a net bait a pack of chunk on there. Another fish. This one feels a bit better. This might be net worthy. Nope. No, he's not. It's another goggle eye. They fight. They just got wider bodies, kind of fight hard. They're pretty fish, them rock bass. Another little bitty rock bass.
fish on. This one feels a bit better. I'm not even sure this is smally. It's a walleye, holy Or a sauger. Would love to get him in the boat. He barely even bit it. What do we have here? This is a netter. I know that much. Holy hell. This is a fish that's going in the net if I can get it in the freaking boat. There we go. That's a tank of a smallie. There we go. Oh god, these river fish fight so hard. That is what we came for now. Yes. That is a nice fish. He just hooked good. Look at that. That's a nice, I don't know, should we put him on the scale? Might want to. That's at least a two pounder there. Fat, strong river smallmouth. Did you see how he's pulling that line? Another fish on. They are all up in this current. This one feels a little bit better too. He's not as big as the last one, but he, he's a better fish, that's for sure. Second best smallie of the day. This one's probably 12 inches long or so. Skinny little one. Let's get him out of here, huh? Look at that big old turtle. Big old soft shell. Too lazy to even move. No, is that? No, that's a snapper. I thought it was a big old soft shell. No, maybe this is a soft shell. I can't tell. Man, that's just a giant slider, ain't it? Big old slider. He don't even care. Maybe this is. I don't know. I'm no turtle expert. Don't know what that is, but it's a big old turtle. Fish on. It feels like little bitty head shakes. Cause it's a little, it's another little goggle eye. And a pretty little rock bass. Oh, on. Up there in the current seams again. Getting myself a mess here, but I did catch another little smallie. Been a minute. Hey guys, uh, fun trip, uh, nice scenic trip. Uh, caught some fish, caught one nice fish. Uh, those river bass just fight so hard. Um, it's a lot of fun. It's been a, it's been a while since I've been down there to fight those uh, river smallmouth. I'm hoping to get back again before the end of the year. Uh, I did want to mention everything I caught. One was on the Bitsy Bug jig. Um, and it was just a standard green pumpkin with a net bait 
Paca chunk trailer in the Alabama Craw. Um, I brought along swim bait and uh, the 60 size Whopper Popper, but nothing doing on there. I probably would bring, you know, anything, anything craw, any kind of craw bait, you know, bottom contact bait, I imagine would get bit. I probably would bring along a swim bait or a crank bait and a minnow pattern just in case they are more keyed on on the shiners than the craws. Uh, every fish I did catch was either in a current seam or an eddy. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, this is what a current seam looks like. Uh, it's just kind of the edge where the current, uh, you know, just the edge of where the current starts and stops to where there's a, you know, calm or slack water, you know, fish will sit right there uh, looking for bait coming, getting pushed through by that current. Um, and they don't have to exert a lot of energy there in that uh, calmer water. Um, and the eddies are just, you know, usually it's where, uh, here's an example, uh, where, uh, you know, the river uh, narrows and the current is heavy and then it kind of widens out. There's usually on the, usually on the sides of the edges, there's a uh, water that swirls back and bait and worms cross and get caught up in there. And, you know, same deal, fish don't have to exert as much energy um, or fish don't have to exert much, as much energy. They'll sit in there and uh, look for an easy meal. Um, so I hope that helps you. Um, the bait will be linked down below. Um, where I, where I uh, used as a shuttle service, Route 66 uh, canoe rental will also be linked down below if you want to uh, give it a try yourself. Uh, but hey, I think that's going to do it for me. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. If you liked what you saw, please subscribe. Um, but until next time, good luck. Stay safe. Cheers.